In this screencast, we're going to learn about the hidden nodes module. Um, so in a past screencast, uh, which you can see at drupal.pusha.edu, I talked about how, to, how you can interpret the node access uh, API portion of Drupal and how it works with loading up pages based on whether or not a user has access. Uh, so if you're interested in that, check out that post. That's more than nuts and bolts. So this is more of what will hidden nodes get you. So uh, for one, it has Outline Designer 2.0 integration. Um, it was actually the reason why Outline Designer was upgraded to a second branch. Uh, but so let's see what you get when you install hidden nodes. So uh, you get a settings page. So this says the content types that you're able to hide. Um, and then whether or not you want to display a message indicating that the content is hidden. This is just a simple configuration kind of a thing. So um, in our system, I say, hey, folder and page can be hidden. All these other types can't be hidden then. Uh, so this is what throttles what people can hide. Um, if you have the permission to view hidden material, then you can actually hide material. Um, now, you're not going to be able to hide anything that you don't have access to, to update. So it, it is going to, you know, lay in directly with the normal node access types of restrictions, um, as you'd hope it would, since it is a node access restricting module. <laughs> so if I scroll down here, you'll see, because I turned this on and I said, hey, you know, pages and folders can do this, and this is a page, uh, hide content. So you know, whether or not you can hide this from being able to be seen. So if I mark this as hide hit, and then we'll open up a new window uh, so that a different session. So I've copied this in. So you see this node's marked hidden, and because it's marked hidden, I get access denied, right? Um, another nice little thing, and the reason why you'd use this project over um, the publish unpublished status, so you'll see this content's available, and so this is effectively what an anonymous user sees. Hey, they get the whole content outline. That's great, but it's not actually the whole content outline because orientation and this cool stuff thing are here. And so you're able to just kind of uh, work within the same menu navigation you normally would, but then flag things as hidden so that other people can't see them. Um, with publish and unpublish, if I had unpublished these these notes here, uh, you wouldn't see them show up here. Even if I had, you know, permission to see unpublished work through, you know, various permission structures. So uh, because it's just the way menus work in Drupal. So. Okay, this is marked as uh, hidden, and you see it says, hey, because I have that message being shown, this content cannot be shown to certain users. I can go into course orientation. And you'll see there's a second customizable menu, or second menu message here. We have a, this content is not hidden because some of its parents are hidden. So because course orientation is underneath orientation, you won't be able to see it. Now, this is different from actually being hidden because if I jump over to the other browser here, and I type this in, I still have access to this page. So I can load this page up, uh, but because the menu's gone, so you kind of have a security through obscurity type of a proposal there. Um, let's look at the outline designer integration and see how this can be super useful. So we've got outline designer loaded up here, and you'll see these follow the same type of convention like they're, you know, they're a little lighter, so you get a sense that they're unpublished. Um, I jump in here, or sorry, not unpublished, they're hidden. <laughs> uh, and I have hide node. So if I click hide node, this says, you know, hey, this is the current status, uh, so these be hidden, and whether or not to propagate. So if you propagate, that will actually apply the hidden setting to all the content below. Uh, a reason you would do this is for removing things from search results. Another thing you can do is I can say, all right, unhide this effectively. So I've unchecked that. And that's going to propagate down to the content within this branch and make sure that it also is visible. So now that I've basically published, you know, in the sense that we would normally think of publishing, orientation, when I reload the page here, orientation now shows up for the anonymous user because those access restrictions have been lifted. Uh, I can then go from there and I can say, hey, orientation, hide node, and let's just hide this one. So maybe this one piece of content isn't ready to go, but the rest of this outline is. I can actually just hide that one item from the user. You'll see it's marked hidden. And now I'm in orientation, and you'll see course orientation disappears. So pretty neat little project. Um, had to rewrite large chunks of the outline designer to be able to integrate things here. Uh, but because I can do that now, outline designer is much more flexible. Uh, there's also a seven branch of this, which should be functioning already.